All right, so this morning I've been uh, cleaning some bedrock. Um, I went downstream and it looks like somebody was camping here. And they've got a sluice down there and they've tore up all the bedrock down in my one spot. So I went upstream. Uh, not bad so far. It's taken me about an hour and a half just to clean that, that little hole and that. But uh, as you can see, it's not a, not a bad morning so far. So we're definitely getting some gold out of here. So that's fantastic. And I'll check back in with you in a little bit. So I thought I'd do a real quick update. Um, cleaned this stuff all out really nice. Nice and pretty. Went back in here, went on this side here. Now mind you, there's a bend here in the creek. So it's, this is, I'm working the outside bend. I'm getting some small stuff, but I guess it's from the bank erosion. So now I'm gonna work my way that way towards the pan. So right in there, because I have a uh, incline of bedrock here. Kind of zigzags all around and whatnot, so. Um, that's kind of where I found the bigger piece was right in here. So my guess is some of this is pushed over and down over time. Um, yeah, I got the big boy knife out because God only knows who the hell I'm going to run into out here. I kind of feel like I'm in the boondocks. Plus, uh, whoever these guys are downstream using the sluice, they clearly don't know the rules. So <sighs> let's hope they don't ruin it for the rest of us. All right, man. I'll talk to you in a little bit. All right, so we're uh, about an hour into it. Found this little area here, which I had no idea it was that deep. Um, so I started cleaning. I started kept going down, going down, going down. I got some nice little tiny pieces of gold out of it. Not flower gold, but nice little flecks. So I'm kind of happy about that. Um, at the end of the day, I was going to just start riding up the side, but I'm tired. It seems like a lot of work, so <laughs> I think I'm going to call it a day, especially if I want to go mining tomorrow. So this is our take for the day. Not too bad. If I can get it to focus for you. But yeah, nice little chunky piece in there. Made me very happy today. But, um, yeah, we're going to try a new spot tomorrow and see what happens. I think this creek is dead for a while. Looks like uh, everybody in their Aunt Lucy knows about it, so I guess it's time to move on. Um, you know, the funny part is, is they bypassed this several times just to get down to where they were, which is sad because I bet you there's some really good gold down in here, but I'm just tired. It's been a long week. And um, I'm ready to go home and relax for a little while. All right, man. Till tomorrow. All right, so the last time I was here, I don't know if you remember my other video, um, I cleaned out all of this area. I got some really nice gold out of it, and then I started digging some of this overburden out. Never really made it to the bedrock last time I was here. Um, I mean, you can see the amount I've been panning to get down to it. Um, but now I'm finally at it. And the good thing here is, is that the gold, there was gold on top, and it was nice little size flakes in the overburden. But now that I'm hitting the bedrock, it's getting much chunkier. So we'll take a look at some gold later. But I just wanted to check in. And um, this is where we're at today. It's taken about two hours just to do this spot. So um, I guess it's going to be another two hours 
to get all of that right there. And I'm alright with that because I've got a, uh, a little nice little bedrock pool or hole down in here. So I'm guessing the gold's going to be pretty nice. Alright, check back in a little bit. All right, so we've made a little bit of progress. Um, second half is complete. Let me see if I can't get over here and quit messing with the water. So we cleaned this area here from here to the back first. Then we did this section from here to here. Now we get into the money pit. Um, the gold lightened up a little bit, not too much though, from what I had gotten before. This is an incline. And this incline is really nice for me because now it starts to flatten out from here to here. And it's kind of like a, a pulling effect. So I should be hitting some really nice gold in there in a minute. Um, as you can see, I've drawn kind of like a, made like a little driveway right into it. Um, what I do want to do though is I want to come around this corner a little bit because, you know, I've got all my stuff positioned here. I did grid this. So I came through here last time. I dug here, I dug here, I dug here, and I dug here. And my good gold was between here and over. So um, we'll see what we get going over here. Um, check back soon. All right, so we're about three hours in, and you can see I hit the lip right there and this is a it is an incline up this way so it's going down this way so now I'm gonna move that rock and my shovel and I'm gonna dig this straight to about right here so from here to here and uh, the gold definitely got chunkier right in there which is what I was hoping for now I just need to get rid of some of that overburden clean up real quick and we'll see what happens all right later All right, well, I cleaned all of it out. I dirtied it up because I was uh, digging back here in the bend, but pulled up some more uh, of the overburden, and there was some nice fine gold in it. Uh, what was really cool, though, is I ended up finding uh, two bullets. <laughs> That's always a good sign. These look like, I'm in Georgia, so these must be like, this one here must be like a Civil War bullet or something. Who knows? I'm going to keep it and take it home, see what happens. Uh, pretty good day out other than that, but, uh, you know, this area is known for its flower gold. And that's what I definitely got. So we got plenty of it. Very small. In some cases, uh, I can't even get the black sand out of it because so many small pieces in it. But, uh, yeah, pretty good day. I'm going to go home and rest up. Until next weekend.